we went into the fight knowing that Neil's long. He's probably like 10, I think 10 inches more than me with the reach. He's 6'3", I'm 5'11", you know, so his, his, him being tall is an advantage, but it's also a disadvantage, you know. We wanted to attack the legs. We just wanted to be calculated in everything we did. We watch his past fights. Well, I, my camp has watched his past fights, and we know that guys tend to hurt him, over-pursue, and empty their gas tank, and, you know, just like Hector did, and he's beat a couple guys like that. So we just wanted to, you know, go in, hurt him, and be calculated, and, 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 and still be aggressive, but not empty no gas tank and just just tear him apart. You know, I, I think I made a pretty big statement. You know, I'm not even ranked, so... I couldn't tell you if, even if there was rankings from 1 to 50, you know, I, I couldn't tell you where I was at. So, you know, I think it just shows a lot. You know, I took the fight on short notice and, and I, you know, I, I finished them in the, in the first round, you know, and um, I don't feel like it was a lucky shot. You know, I think it was just right from the get go, you know, sticking to the game plan and, and it showed, you know, where I was at in this division. It's not like I don't, you know, I, I, see stuff on the on the media uh, and the internet you know and, and comments you know when when UFC posts stuff and, and Fight Pass was posting stuff and I see the comments of fans like you know who is this guy who is he I, I don't even, you know so it's just one of those things where you know I felt like okay I'm, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you motherfuckers <laughs> yeah you know I I feel like I'm, I'm a marketable guy you know I'm not I feel like I can talk I'm not, I'm not the greatest talker, but I'm not just like, oh, you know, you know, I feel like I could have a, <coughs> I could hold a conversation. So, you know, and I feel like I, I'm an exciting fighter to watch, you know, and um, I feel like I'm marketable. So, you know, we'll see, you know, I'm going to see what my manager is talking about and, and with my coaches, you know, and just go from there. I think it was, it was I think it was promoted good. You know, I had a talk with, you know, uh, Eric and I told him, you know, you guys changed my mind. You know, I seen all the, all the media stuff that they've been doing. They've really been pushing, you know, our fight. So, you know, I, I was happy with it. You know, I feel like we got more, we got marketed more for this fight than if we would have got on the first or fight, or first or second fight on pay-per-view, you know. The viewership would have been different, you know, obviously. But, you know, I feel like as far as marketing, we got, we got marketed pretty good. I never call out nobody. It's just, you know, I'm... I, I've always been a gamer, you know, it's, 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 I never turned down fights, I never made up an excuse why that fight doesn't make sense, you know, anything that the UFC has tossed at me, I've signed, you know, and, and that's just the type of fighter I am, you know, I, obviously fighters want big fights and want big money, you know, but I was always just a gamer, you know, it's whatever Joe Silva threw at us, we accepted, there was no hesitation, it was just, what's the date? Where is it at? Hopefully it's close to California because I hate flying. And uh, we're all for it.